Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I will try in the next 10 minutes to give you an update of uh, where we stand in the BMW group with uh, what uh, Achim Steiner called sustainable mobility. And uh, I want to assure you that uh, we are not using sustainable mobility only at this event. This really became part of our company culture. And by saying company culture, it goes far beyond in just mobility. I think we have a 360 degree view on our company. And uh, I hope that in the next 10 minutes I will bring this across that uh, we really have a very holistic approach to this topic. I think uh, we all know that currently we are at an, uh, what we say, point of an uh, historic opportunity. The world is facing a number of uh, major challenges and uh, when it comes to resolving them, I'm really certain that this uh, multi-stakeholder approach we are seeing here in action in Paris and at the Sustainable Innovation Forum especially is the right way to go. Shaping our future is a task for all of us and it's uh, one we must accomplish together. Politics must set the right legal framework. Companies must realize sustainable sustainability in their product and their production. Sustainable products must be attractive enough for consumers to invest in them. And opinion leaders must be both critical and constructive in their commentary. And I hope you realized I used five times the word must because we are convinced that the time for should is over. If all these things work together, we will be in a position to rise successfully to the tremendous challenge posed by climate change. As a company, we are definitely ready to do our part. We see opportunities not only in new technologies, but also in new systematic solutions for the future mobility. And on that basis, we have taken action. We have used our innovative strength to make combustion engine more efficient and vehicles more fuel saving. By 2020, we will have reduced our fleet emissions here in Europe by more than half compared with 1995. At the same time, we have achieved drastic reductions in the amount of resources used in our production facilities worldwide. Since 2010 alone, we have cut CO2 emissions in our vehicle manufacturing by more than 25% per car. And we have been equally successful in improving our water consumption and other key performance indicators. Our approach to all of this has been a holistic one, and it's the same approach that has been so fundamental to our activities in the field of electric mobility. When we first began to develop the BMW i3, one thing was clear. We wanted it to be the most eco-friendly product we had ever made across the entire life cycle. Realizing our vision required a completely new vehicle concept, tailor-made to meet the needs of electric mobility. We invested heavily in the development of a carbon passenger cell. Another material was used was the secondary aluminium. And for the interior of the i3, we used renewable raw materials as well as recycled materials for which we set up an entirely new supply chain. To power the production in the i3, we switched completely to renewable energies. And for our customers, we offer electricity packages with energy from renewable energy sources. In a word, we completely revolutionized automotive engineering and construction. 
and we did so in just a short space of time. In my view, the BMW i3 is the best and most sustainable series produced electric car available in the market today. And we are aiming even higher. Electric mobility can make a huge contribution to our efforts as we rise to the challenges of urban mobility. According to the United Nations, by the year 2050, about 2.5 billion more people will be living in cities than today. So obviously, we need con new concepts for urban mobility. Electric mobility can help to significantly improve the air quality in our cities and cut noise pollution. And one way of reducing a number of cars on the roads in our cities is also car sharing. It's the combination of these two things that I believe will be the key factor on the road to urban mobility for the future. That's why we're gradually adding more and more all-electric BMW i3s to our, to our drive now fleet, which is our car sharing company. When it comes to sustainable innovations, we are partnering with a number of organizations. One of them is ChargePoint, the fastest electric vehicle charging network in the world. ChargePoint's express corridors program along the Portland, San Diego, and Boston, Washington DC highways won the UN Momentum for Change Award, an award designed to highlight real efforts <coughs> to lessen the effects of climate change. ChargePoint will receive the UN Momentum for a Change Award here at COP21 with Ben Ki-moon in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, our aim must be to bring together the different modes of transportation and cities and interconnect them. This is the idea that's at the heart of the intensive discussions we are having with stakeholders around the world. We need integrated solutions. One important realization that has come from our experience is that each city needs its own individual solution. There is not the one <coughs> blueprint which fits to everyone. We really have to come up with own individual solution for each city. Another thing we have learned in that various cities and indeed countries bring to the table very different prerequisites for new solutions. Policies certainly make a difference. Countries and districts can decide for themselves how fast and to what extent new technologies will be established. For electric cars to break through, we need support with financial and non-financial incentives. We also need a better infrastructure for electric mobility. And we need far-reaching support for the introduction of on-demand mobility solutions such as car sharing. The BMW Group is among those in the auto industry that have made significant upfront investments over the last few years. As a result, we already have a number of workable technical solutions and business models at our disposal. And there is still more to come. Let me tell you about just two examples. First, we support the RE100, the Renewable Energy 100 initiative of the Climate Group regarding the use of energy from renewable sources. Second, the BMW Group has announced that it has joined the American Business Act of Climate Pledge. Along with more than 140 companies across America who are standing shoulder to shoulder with the Obama administration. We are demonstrating our ongoing commitment to a climate action and voicing our support for a strong outcome from the COP21 Paris climate negotiation. The American Business Act on Climate Pledge allows companies to express publicly their commitment to the fight against climate change through action. With this commitment, the BMW Group also reaffirms its intention to remain a leader in sustainable along the entire value chain, from R&D and manufacturing through to operations. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the BMW Group, the 21st Conference uh, of the Parties is an outstanding opportunity to contribute our expertise and skills. But it's also an opportunity for us to listen, to develop our own understanding of the situation, which is just as important for us. The decision makers here in Paris should seize this opportunity to establish an international climate agreement with well-conceived targets for the future. In this context, we need a standardized global price for CO2 emissions. A market-driven approach is essential for achieving environmental targets at the lowest possible cost to society, while at the same time driving innovation in carbon neutral technologies and creating jobs. I firmly believe that when it comes to tackling climate change, businesses and industry have a key role to play. Implementing a global climate protection agreement requires the involvement of the full range of state, private and civil society stakeholders. We must rise to this challenge together. Be assured the BMW Group is, committed, is your committed partner in these efforts, and we are fully aware of our responsibility. Thank you very much.